Hey everyone, how are we doing? My name's Gus, I'm a cosmetic and implant dentist, and today let's talk about fake gum on dental implants. So fake gum is actually something we use a lot when we're doing a full set of dental implants, um, a full set of teeth on dental implants, like all on four and, and stuff like that. So here you can see a photo of somebody who's had this done where their cheeks all pulled back, and it's really obvious where that margin, where that junction is between the real gum and the fake gum. And when we're doing an all on four, we, we pay a lot of attention on how we can disguise this, okay? How can we make sure that the gums are going to cover up this junction? So how about when we're having a smaller treatment, let's say one or two dental implants, this can sometimes still be a problem, okay? Let's look at this case in particular. This is a lady who we helped a little while ago and I saw her for a review earlier in the year. And, um, her, and, and her, her original situation, you can see here, she's missing these two teeth. Uh, it's at the front of her mouth. She's a young lady. She's got a really wide smile. Her gums are on show and she absolutely hates the denture. All of her other teeth are absolutely fine. I can't remember actually how she came to lose these two teeth, but they've been lost. And she's, she's wearing this removable denture, which she absolutely hates. Um, it makes her feel old, she can't really eat with it, and every dentist who she's been to has has, has not been super confident in doing this. And, and this this is rightly so, because this is a really, really difficult case. I would say this is harder than an all-on-four case. The problem is, over the, the time that the teeth have been missing, the gum has shrunk. Having a removable denture means that the gum has shrunk. And you can see this, how thin the gum looks in this, in this photo. So then we've got this issue that, number one, we don't have enough bone for the physical placement of dental implants. So we're gonna to have to do some kind of bone grafting in this situation. And then we've got the, the additional problem that even if you do bone grafting, you're unlikely to rebuild the bone to the same level as, uh, as, as the other teeth. Okay, and this creates an aesthetic problem. This is when you sometimes see this where implants are placed and the teeth are placed on the implants, but those implant teeth look longer. Okay, the reason they look longer is because there is not enough thickness of the, the gum and the bone. An additional problem that we have when we've got two implants next to each other is the papilla, that little pink triangle between the teeth. It's really hard, if not pretty much impossible, okay? It, those cases where we have achieved it is probably luck more than anything, but to get a papilla that looks the same as the other side. Okay, especially that junction between the uh, implants. The papilla to the front and the back, um, especially at the front, it's a little bit easier to get, but the one in the middle and to the back is always really, really tricky. So what we did in this case was a complicated bone graft. We took bone from her chin, we placed it there um, to increase the thickness. We had temporary bridges. We then placed two dental implants using guided surgery to get the implants in the most ideal position and we also did a connective tissue graft to add to the thickness, okay? So this lady's had so many surgeries. When you do a, a, a bone graft from here to here, you always do a secondary surgery, you know, three, four months later because you, you create the soft tissue distortion. My point is she had a lot of surgeries to get her to the point where she could have teeth. And even after all of that, the teeth still didn't look perfect. They didn't look as good as they, they would have done on the other side, okay? And that pink papilla was missing, okay? When the pink papilla's missing, the teeth can look too blocky. So even though it's not obvious what is wrong with it, left and right looks different, okay? There's a really obvious imbalance there. So in this case, we, we resorted to using pink porcelain, okay? And this is the result. You can see that there is a, a difference. You can see that pink porcelain, especially in these close-up photos. And the question is really, what is, what is acceptable? Now, with, uh, you know, with, with this lady and with every patient we see, we had a really long discussion at each kind of stage and we decided that because you know she's been through all of these surgeries, we can build the gum up more. We can look at more tissue grafts and um, 
possibly even a, a, another bone graft if needed, but it was it was unlikely we're going to get to the point where it's absolutely perfect. Okay, there's always going to be a compromise, especially in that papillar region. So we decided, okay, it's easier to use pink porcelain. Here are the plus points, here are the downsides. And she felt that, actually, you know what? Even though it's visible on the photos, when she's out day to day, it's really not that obvious. And the, the key thing here is she is not embarrassed to smile. If the teeth were a bit bulky, if we were missing that papilla, then that would be a bigger compromise in terms of aesthetics to her than having pink porcelain on the, on the, on the prosthetics, on the, on the teeth. As a clinician, I would have loved to achieve natural gums and have the, the, the ideal aesthetics left to right, okay? It, it would go down in my portfolio, it, 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 I would be super happy with it. I feel it's cheating having this, um, this pink porcelain, but we have to take everything into account, okay? The additional surgeries, are we actually going to be able to achieve what we want to achieve? Additional surgeries is more time off work and it's additional journeys to and from the clinic. It's all the recovery, swelling, bruising, all of that stuff associated with having surgery. So I wanted to make this video to kind of highlight that there are different solutions. There are different, di very difficult situations that can be made a lot easier by introducing a level of compromise. And let's not forget the cost savings. If you're having this pink porcelain, it's easier and cheaper just to have pink porcelain rather than having all of the additional surgeries, recoveries, or everything that I've just mentioned. So this video is really just to open your eyes about the, the more difficult situations which you sometimes see and the, the ways that we've got to, to kind of get around it. So I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please give this video a like. It does help other people find the video and it helps grow the channel. All right, guys, until next time, take care.